Good morning everyone and welcome to Stranded Deep. So also welcome our two new bodyguards, Mr. Tiger and Mr. White. There we go, they are so enormous. Anyway guys, today we are going to take on the biggest subject of them all and that is the, regarding these purple poisonous plants, starfish thingies, I don't even know what you call them, I, I just hate them, I totally, totally hate them and we're going to talk more about them today and three ways what you can do to try and avoid on stepping on them the entire freaking time. So yes, let's start. Before I start and show you guys the ways not to step on them and to find a location much easier, I just quickly want to clarify a few things. I've been seeing a lot of Facebook posts, comments and etc. where people are mistaken these for actually respawning or moving and etc. and etc. So I'm going to start off straight up. You cannot kill them. You can, they don't move and also they don't respawn. They are physically there from day one till when you delete this game and uninstall it. So literally, they remain on the same spot. I really just think that people are misinterpreting them, thinking that no, this one was closer to the rocks, they run out maybe further and they step on them because, I mean, you meet these ones, maybe four or five on an island and there's how many, like 19, 20 islands in this game. So yeah, they just maybe get a little bit confused. They do not move at all, guys. Maybe if they do move, it's something new on console, but they have never ever moved on PC. I mean, I memorized this one. Uh, and all the other ones on my island as well from day one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to cover them up so you do not step on them. And also this is going to prove to you guys that they do not move. So yeah, you guys can go and try this out yourself. So we're going to start with the most simple one first and that is a spear. Believe it or not, if you actually spear next to them, uh, the spear sticks out of the water as you can see. So whenever you do want to go somewhere, let's say you want to go to this boat, you can see the spear, obviously at night time you can't see so good in the water, or when the sun comes up or goes down, at least you got a spear over here to show you that, yo, the starfishy thingy <laughs> is over here so you know you can run a big circle around him. So there is one of the ways, let's move to the second one. I'm currently standing by a different one now, it's just very far to run that way while we do have one over here, so same applies to both of them. So the second way is actually taking a cloth and you can move the cloth over it. So once again guys, the cloth as you guys can see uh, does not cover it completely, uh, it's not that big, you can still step through it <sighs> and get poisoned. Good. Yeah, you can, yeah, so don't get me wrong, this does not stop you from being poisoned. I've been poisoned once, so I won't be poisoned again. Haha, -ha, die, starfish. Alright, so anyway, as I was saying that, these are just another indication to show you where they are. So for example, if you do run, you can spot it from a much further distance away. So yeah, they are pretty useful as well to have cloths. And obviously the third way is if you really want to go extreme and you want to place one of these foundations over them. So once again, if you do place the foundation over them, you cannot step on it. Even if you crouch, you cannot go underneath it. Depends obviously on how you place it. But yeah, you're completely safe uh, from it now. Like there's no way you can do it. Even from this side of here, I've got another one over here somewhere. Here it is. So even if I have to go here, I can place the triangle one. Yeah, okay, well, that's not the foundation. There we go. Boom, we can place a triangle one if you guys would like to obviously not have such a big square one and you can't step on it either. So yeah, just make sure you do place them good and there you go. So there's the three ways to cover it up. I just want to mention something quickly before you guys go and it's something I should have mentioned in the beginning but I completely forgot about it. We're just going to run to this other one over here quick so I can show it to you guys and demonstrate it to you guys as well. Where are you fishy fishy fishy? Here it is. Alright, so you guys saw me mention earlier that you should spear next to it, right? So a lot of you guys might have a question and say, why don't I actually physically spear the thing? And then you know exactly where it is. So let me tell you guys why. As I mentioned that they do not respawn, they do not die, they do not move. They do rotate among each other. So for example, this starfish over here... Maybe if I go and sleep now or restart the game, the spear will be gone because this one is impaled on it. 
So what will happen is, if this one moves, it can move anywhere around the map. This one can move, for example, underneath my foundation there. So next morning when I actually get there, I'll see my spear just sticking out of the foundation. Like, what the heck is this? So yeah, that is why you guys need to mark next to them. So the good thing of spearing them and actually like marking them, if they do respawn to a different island, let's say for example I go to that island, I can actually find this starfish, exact starfish over here, with the spear in it on that island. So obviously I already got an indication there, which is pretty cool, but yeah, you have got no idea where exactly it is going to go after this. So that is why you guys need to spear next to them and not onto them but yeah once again they remain on the same spot always so you guys can go test this out please do let me know in the comments below if they do move you guys can if it does move just drop me a message on twitter or uh, send me a photo or whatsoever uh, my links are in the description below but thank you so much for watching guys i really really do appreciate it uh, if you guys do have any other way you guys are doing this Please, please drop it in the comments below. I love to check out my comments. As you guys know, I always, always respond to as many comments as I possibly can. So, yeah, I would like to see what other people do comparing to what I recommend. But, yes, anyway, guys, wow, look at how, look how he leans. <laughs> the shadow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful, useful, entertaining, informative. If it was, please do drop a like on this video. If you guys would love to support the channel by subscribing, hit the logo at the bottom right corner. If you guys would love to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you guys would like to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right. And I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, cheers, everyone.